Whoa! Are they like teenagers now? Just look at them. Did you know did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. <laughs> you said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Oh, well, like, I think she tells him eventually. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? Right. Say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Oh. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Isn't John Smith, like, the most common name in the world? Anyway, even in India? Oh, no, I don't... Probably. I don't think quite in... I think, I think that study that I read was just in the United States. Probably. So not in the world. In the United States. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring. I guess. More yawning. Um, yeah. I'm Matt, so, like, it's, how, it's almost as boring as John. Like, I'll go, people call their Matt's, and, like, I'm like, what? what? Yeah, and in both elementary and high school, there were four Matt's. Yeah, um, it, it was two different, I moved between the two, um, halfway through middle school, and there were four Matt's, in both both schools. Completely different ones, but uh, at, that's just at the same time. There were actually more in the high school, but um, you know, it was like there's four, including myself, and then one graduates, and then we get another one. I, anyway, okay. I mean, if everyone has it, what's the point? I wouldn't mind. So he, want, he wants to have a less co common name, and she wants to have a more common one. Just for once, they have the same name everyone else has. I think River is a nice name. I like River. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but it doesn't make them any less pretty. Oh, hey, the moon. Eh, I suppose. I'm yawning again. What do, you, what do you think those stars up there, up there are, anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it. Uh, I don't quite think he's making it up, but... I, why would you lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. So they are little kids. It's kind of it's kind of hard to tell. She kind of looks a bit older than he, he does. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. What? Santa's not real? How would you... How, why, how could you do this to me? Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? No, uh, that's an interesting thing. I saw, I was reading a comic, um, it was today and yesterday, because it was both on Discord's Domain, which is a cool site that's kind of died, but you should still check it out. EQMegaThreads.blogspot.com, and it was on EQD2, where there was, like, Luna, and she was on a diet, and so she was, and because of that, she was making, like, ice cream cones out of like stars and constellations. Anyway. Like a constellation? John asks. Yes. Um, of other things, never tried a rabbit though. Oh. This explains the whole thing about rabbits. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. Aww. Such a cute couple. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and so I see it. Wow. Er, where? In the sky. <laughs> well, that's totally specific. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Um, I can, I can kind of see Patrick from SpongeBob. I don't even know. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. I, I, I don't really see anything either. It's like a starfish. So not Patrick, just a regular starfish. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. I see it. I still know. Um, it's probably, maybe a little highlight. Oh, I do see it. Right here. It's the moon, and it has little bunny ears out of stars. Tell me what you see. Boom, right there. There, right? They're the two ears and head. Yep, what else? And there. There's its two feet. I don't see. Oh, now I see them. Yes, what else? And. And the moon! The moon! Is its big brown belly. Aww. How sweet. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Oh, and here's her obsession with lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wasn't that the quote that opened Act 3? Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they all and they want to talk to them, but they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. Pardon my yawning. Um, all they all they can do is shine their lights from afar, so that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. Oh, that bag. What's in it? Oh, it's a prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Well, Watts and uh, Eva aren't even anywhere near. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. So now it's going to probably... Oh, it was just moving the camera. I thought it was going to shoot. It's some kind of weird duck, beaver thing. It's a platypus. I thought it was going to show even what, but nope. May I see it? She's kind of, She has some sort of condition, but it looks so strange. Wait, we already knew that. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Oh, here comes Mom. Eek! That's Mom calling. Here. River says, You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Oh. It's like Stacker for me. I've won it twice. I won a TV and, uh, and an iPod from it. So, yeah. Will it be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. Such cute little children. What if you forget? Or get lost? And we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Oh. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the back. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Oh, there's... So that explains the hacky sack scene. And she's holding a little platypus. Even though it's really hard to see, but... If they ever get lost... Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. I hear I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I still don't know what's going on, so... I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Get them lost. You have to separate them. Oh my god. Is that morally right? Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? No, I would. It's our job, Neil. 
I wouldn't do it if it were me. It's what we were contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Oh my god, Eva. Eva. And there we go, winking out. I know you're in here. Received a note on the moon. Right. Um. Let's see, we've gotten past the point where pretty much at this point we might as well just make it two episodes, and I'll cut it somewhere in the middle. Um. Uh, see. Wait. Where was the note on the moon? Um. And I'll just do another five minutes to make it uh, two full ones. Objective, where Johnny and Rivari regroup, they get lost from each other. So, you gotta find Eva. See, this is all your fault. Oh, it's in the river. It's a stuffed toy platypus. Where's Eva? My, uh, um. See. Gotta find her. No one's in the computer lab. There she is. Don't you do it. Turn around. Neil, I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that. Look, our contract is to send them to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? Man, I'm like agreeing with Neil for something. The reason he... The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Dr. Rosaline. Fuck the contract. I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I didn't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. Well, Peel, we know that Johnny would be happier to not go to the moon. Damn right, Watts. Johnny would be happier with a, with a lot of alternative life tensions, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Isn't that... But, oh, he isn't bold. Man, isn't, play, isn't giving him what he signed for playing God by altering his memory? Well, we have to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her, and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her! And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? Whoa. Um, we're running out of time. Is John dying? Just trust me. Eva, this is the one who pushed me off the fucking lighthouse. Um, what's going on? Did you just... Oh, no. Freaking light data. Abusing your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Eva. See, uh, I have control back. Um... See, we got... We got a note on something, I think. Um, maybe not. Uh, um... See... All right. Well, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna have to end it off here. So, um, okay. Oh, that's what I was going to check. This is um, his condition. Uh, I'm gonna have to end it off here. But I'm freaking keeping on playing. Um, yeah. I'll see you in a few seconds. <laughs> Make a dash, and I'm out.